सुप्रभातम सुस्वागत भक्ति योगा टू गेन मास्टरी ऑफ द इमोशंस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रीम ऑफ योगा डीलेक्ट टुडे इरिगेशन सिस्टम बिकॉज कैन वी एनकाउंटर डिफरेंट डिमांडिंग सिचुएशन we don't know how to deal with that so we suppress emotions or we prevent them so what we are saying for this dimensions i have not given the result because if you suppress emotions you have number of problems that come up for the face this is if you give prevent is going to be more and more diseases therefore bhakti yoga found out the secret as to how to deal with our emotions sublimation and sublimation is the process of slowing down converting our gross emotions violent emotions asuri sampad into softer emotions gentler emotions virtues daivi sampad by so doing you will be able to gain mastery over the emotions Therefore, the schematic to see the first step is to recognize our asuri sampat and daivi sampat, our strengths and weaknesses. Strength should be developed, weakness should be reduced. How to do that? Bring karma to prema, the karma and desires and greed to turn itself into prema bhava, the real friendship, featured by tyaga. Giving, 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 giving. Then Krishna says, even when you are giving, ego may come up. So I have to move from prema to the next level, the bhakti, which is by sharma gadi bhava, prakriti bhava. That is to deal with the ego. We have to surrender. Surrender is the process of expansion. Ego is the process of contraction. So we can understand contraction is death, expansion is life. So to bring expansion, you have to learn that art of surrender. Surrender is a process of resilience, and for that you must choose your history level up or a role model. I think by now all of you have chosen your history level up role model. Is your hand? Or if you have taken that, those who have not done, please do it now. Unless you have this, you will not grow to the great heights. Choose your own role model. If you don't like gods or goddesses, otherwise choose your god or goddess. Then, how to bring resonance? The methodology was developed. That is, tuning the mind by the process of japa. In our bhajan sessions. Singing and singing the glory, doing the japa, a Hanuman, a Ram, 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 continuously going to the great heights. And when you are doing, the mind slowly gets to the same frequency band as the God or Goddess and the role model. Then you must also understand the meaning related to that. The japa, the dhatta bhavanam. And he said, "When you do that, you must have an understanding as to why you are doing that. What should be the result of that? Understanding is very important. May I even mention that swa? May the buddhi be vesha? Krishna said, the buddhi, the understanding, analysis should also come into the head in doing that. When you are doing that, you are resonating. All those qualities are going to come to you. Like tuning to BBC, all the information comes to you." And then your whole life should become one of that. You must just see what you do. That means completely tune your life from morning till night, completely into that. Yoga is a way of life. If not that you morning you do some asana, pranayama, mudra, sandha, kriyas, but the whole life from morning till night you should be charged with the yoga dimension. Every action should be converted into a yoga. And repeat your karma yoga. So Bhakti says, yes, you have to get into that 
bhakti bhava. In which every action should be devoted to the Lord, to your Ishtadevata, to your role model. Then the result of bhakti is Sabana Satchatara. That is seeing God in personal blood. And that's what I was telling. Ram Krishna was the role model who was able to achieve this end by intense sadhana. He is an unschooled boy. But how he rose to the greatest achievement? The first he found was to get the Sakshatkara, which be able to give up human life. He goes into the sanatorium and goes to Kadga, the sword, want to cut him down to do the pranarpana at the altar feet of Mother Kali. And the result was Kali comes in fresh and blood, you know, and blesses him with all the joy and the bliss, with all the powers and the knowledge, everything he went to have. That's called Sabra Sarchata. And the second conclusion he came is that whomever you worship, you get the Sarchatkara of that particular god or goddess or that particular role model. Mm -hmm. So he practiced the Dasya Bhava to achieve Rama, Sarchatkara. The Madhura Bhava, taking on the role of Radha, <coughs> to get the glimpses of Krishna and Sabrina Shavkatara of Krishna. So, he brought the second conclusion of his research, saying that all parts of bhakti are right. And it gives you the result, this Sabrina Shavkatara, God via the initiative forum, second conclusion. Then, he practiced number of different Tantra Shatras, guided by Bhairavi Brahmani. And he got the Sakshatkara of many, many gods and goddesses. You know, 64 different dimensions of Tantra Shatra. He practices, becomes a master in that. Greatest researcher of the times and pattern. Then he took to the worship of different religions. People from different religions. Can they also get the Sakshatkara? They practice Christianity. He gets the Sakshatkara of Christ. Then he practices Islam. He gets the Sakshatkara of Muhammad. So, the fourth conclusion, he came, all religions are true. And therefore, he concluded that whatever religion you belong to, you can practice that and to get this. The God realization. For the end of the game, no. Then came the Tutapani to take him to the greater heights of Nirvana Sakshatkar. From Sabana, he had the Nirvana Sakshatkar. So, how to bring this Sabana Sakshatkar into our life? And what is the result? So, we talk that here in Aragya Dhamma to bring in this dimension of bhakti. We had one of the big CEOs who came to Aravidham and he had a lot of hypertension. Blood pressure was soaring high. 300, 350, 400. His cardiologist said that you take this medicine. When you take the medicine, like it comes down, again goes down. Labai, hypertension. So, continuously it was increasing, increasing in spite of all the medicines and others. Therefore, from Hyderabad, his consultant said, okay, now go to Dr. Nagaratna, our medical director, that's how he landed up here in our Aravya Dham. When he came, he was jumping up and down, up and down. 350, 200, 250, diastolic increasing to 140, 150, terrible. You know? So we started doing the integrated approach of Vigautha Yoga Therapy, even deep relaxation, Savasana Devaki. And two days over, three days over, not much change. And it was the fifth day that come. And fifth day in the night, his whole blood pressure became absolutely normal, 120 by 8. And Dr. Kambini, who is here, she got scared. 
how the pressure came down. He immediately called Nagarata, who was in the city, consulting. Nagarata said, please check up her heart, is he and other things. Everything she checked up, everything was normal. You know. Next day when Dr. Nagarata came, she asked, you know, see, last four, five days you are not getting improvements at all. You are very concerned. How did it happen that it completely became normal? In the morning they checked up, everything was again normal. You know, 120 by 80. Then he said, it is Bhajan. You know, that time the Bhajan session I was sitting there and beautiful Bhajan was going on, I was touring and touring and the Omkar Bhajan came up and I was sitting there and completely got engrossed. And closing my eyes, then when I opened my eyes, nobody was there in the hall. Not many, between 6 o'clock to 6 30, but already it was 8 15 when I looked at the clock. Then Dr. Nathan said, Probably must have stepped, isn't it? No, no, doctor, I was not sleeping, I was fully away. But what was happening? What did you do? Then he said, when I went on doing that Omkara, Om, 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 and Omkara, Japan, the singing going on, I was completely engrossed. And I became one with Omkara. My whole body and the mind became completely Omkara. And I know the meaning of Omkara is such an honor of you have explained. It is one of infinite bliss, knowledge, and power. And I became completely immersed in this thing. I don't know how the time went two hours just sitting there. You know? This is the Sattva Sakshatkar. How we can apply that to deal with your different ailments. You know? And that's how continue. And you are staying for two weeks, and the BP became completely normal, stopped all medication, and he went back, consulted, was simply shockedly, shockedly surprised. How this happened? How this happened? That's not going to explain. This is the power of Bhakti. So individually you have to raise to that level to get into that. But is it possible to scale up? Is it possible to bring it to the community? Way back in 78, we did this experiment. In the rural development program that we had taken up, Kanyakumari, Tinamari, Bhavnathpuram, Chitnur, districts in Tamil in the southern part of Tamil Nadu. We had introduced this dimension of bringing prayer power. So, all the families, they are told, you have to take care of your children. And we are going to conduct this one samskar of our gas. And therefore, you have to give them good nutrition. So, you people have to contribute. What you have to do, when you take your food, before that, one handful of whatever you eat, ragi, rice or anything, take this and put it into a bag. We gave it a bag. And this team is called Amrutu Surabhi. You know. And the bag, they will put that. They go on putting it every day. At the end of the month, they bring this entire thing and give it to the district center. And from all the district centers, it comes to Kanyakumari. It comes to first Nagarpoy, from Nagarpoy about 15 kilometers. They will all bring and we were to bring all these things to Kanyakumari to have a three days program for all the people who are participating. No. And we had 200 children and slightly elderly teenagers who were loading them. They all started from Nagarpoy carrying one one bag themselves. And while coming, it's about 13 kilometers from Nagarpoy to Kanyakumari. And they were going in the street singing the glory of Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. They were all singing and coming continuously all through the sea. They took three and a half hours to reach Kanyakumari. They were all so thrilled, so happy. And all about the, these things are said. And that day, when they reached up to the land, they had 
the retreat started, everybody was immersed in that bhava. And Bhajan went on for two and a half hours to three hours and continuously then doing the Ram 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 Ram. And when we took the field back the next day, there was a young girl, only about 11 years old. She said, Di 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 Di, I was so very happy, so very happy. And continuously, you know, I am having the night, the whole night, I was having the same Rama's picture in my mind and singing the glory of Ram, 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 whole night. And early morning, you know, suddenly I got Rama's vision. Rama came to me and I was able to see Rama and he dressing me with all the things. And the three, four, five people got this type of things by this country. Out of the 200, five, six people got this thing. What the result? All these four, five children, you know, top of things. Their memory increased tremendously. And their classes they become first, first in first. So, this is the power of bhakti. Therefore, Sanan Sakshatkara is the essence. It should black its glues. And the Ramayana is called Samadhi. Dhyana, Dhyana, Samadhi. But you can't take it as the Sanan Sakshatkara. What happens? There is an expansion of your consciousness. The mind comes to the higher level of consciousness. And in that, the higher bliss is going to come up, higher power is going to come up, and higher knowledge is going to emerge. And this is the dimension that the Bhakti talks about. Therefore, Samar Sakhatkara. So it doesn't matter whatever God you have chosen, or Goddess you have chosen, or the role model you have chosen, continuously you must do that. And when you have holidays, you must spend more and more time, more and more time. Sunday that you have, instead of just walking around and doing these things, study, work on these things, and all wonderful things can happen. And that is what we have to do the practice and bring about the control and mastery over the emotions. So let us contemplate on these thoughts. Sit tight, with the eyes closed. Relax all parts of the body from toes to head. Beautiful smile on the face. Scan your lives. How much of Vasari Sampath and Daimi Sampath we have. They have made a resolve, yes, I am going to reduce my Vasari Sampath. Kama, Krodha, Dobha, Moha, Madha, Matsarya. Anger, greed, jealousy, hatred, infatuation, arrogance. I'm going to reduce and develop my all good qualities. By a simple act of giving and giving. Record what you have started giving every day in your diary. Spread the goodness of giving to all your friends, relatives to whom you send your emails, SMS and social media. Put it on your Facebook. This is what I did. And what is the result of that? How happy you felt by giving it. <coughs> now since all of you have chosen your Ishtadevata, now sit nicely and start repeating the Japa. Repeat the name continuously in the mind. Keep the picture or the murti statue of your Devata in the mind.
पृथ्वीवर जपा slowing down the body is more and more relaxing the mind is one fully tuned to your ishta devata mind is chanting and keeping the picture statue that the vibration spread throughout the body and feel those vibration spreading throughout the whole mangal mandir and even beyond Everyone whom we meet, 